Hey everyone, welcome back to PX Mentor. Today we're checking out an insane new design tool called Unicorn Studio. This tool lets you create WebGL based or JavaScript based interactive animations both in 2D and 3D. The best part? It's completely web based, just like Figma or Framer, and you can embed or export these animations directly into your favorite tools, whether it's Framer, Webflow, Figma, or others. In this video, I'll walk you through the coolest features of Unicorn Studio and how you can start using it for your design projects. Oh, and it's free up to a certain point. Let's dive in. Just click on the sign up and get started. Once you sign up, you'll see a dashboard with useful resources, including a community tab. Here, you can explore pre-made projects. If you're just starting out, this is perfect. For example, I loved this OpenAI project, an image created using AI, then animated in Unicorn Studio. The fact that you can add interactivity like mouse tracking makes it super fun. It actually feels a little like Spline. From the dashboard, let's start a new project. The interface feels very familiar. If you've used Figma or Framer, you'll pick it up instantly. On the top bar, you'll find elements like a 3D panel with built-in shapes. Let's import one, and just like that, it drops onto our artboard. Each shape comes with tons of properties. Smoothening and extrude make it thicker or thinner, scaling and SVG attachments, change shape quickly, refraction for glass effects, Yes, you can literally make 3D glass animations right inside the browser. Now let's animate this shape. By selecting it and going to Events, I can set animations for properties like refraction, dispersion, or even make it track the mouse. Click Play, and within seconds, your animation is ready. Unicorn Studio comes with pre-built effects. For example, I can drop in a light trail and instantly customize its color and glow. You can also import images or videos and animate them with overlays like mouse ripples, glow effects, scroll manipulation. You can see we have some intro animations and a cool interactive mouse effect here. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with this blank project here. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the size. We have all these screen sizes available, including any custom size you want to use. I'm going to set the background layer to that blue color um, that we had in the template. And then up here in my toolbar, I can add some text. We had the word appearance in there. And I'll make that big. Okay, so over here in our layer bars, I'm going to use the dot menu to add an effect to the text layer. So here I'm gonna have our replicate effect. All right, the next piece we have is our mouse effect. So I'm going to go to the effects menu and add mouse trail. So we have a few options here for it, different kinds of mouse effects. Feel free to explore these, but for this demo, we're going to use the motion blur. We're going to make it a little smaller and increase the fluidity, which kind of gives it a waterish smooth, flowy effect here. And we'll increase our chromatic aberration. So that looks pretty good. The next thing we have is a 3D shape. The default is this kind of glass effect. You can also add um, like a solid fill to it, and change the color um, with the opaqueness property. 
but we're going to do something a little different actually. We're going to use an image as the fill for this shape. So I'm going to go into my images gallery, scroll down and look for these clouds. So the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to move the shape on top of the image. So now the shape is an effect on the image layer. And when I make this really big, you can see it sort of fills out the whole shape here. And the last thing we're going to do is turn off show background. So now my shape looks like it's got the clouds kind of as its fill here. Okay, and you know what? We actually want to move the mouse on top so it affects everything. All right, so let's work on our animation. The first thing we have is a scrolling effect. We can do that by hitting play on the replicate effect. I want to slow that down a little bit more. As you saw on the template, we also have some in animations, which are called events in Unicorn Studio. We have two kinds of events, appear and scroll. So for this, we're going to use the appear effect where we get to set the initial value when the scene initially appears on the page. And to see what that looks like, I can just hit preview here. Okay, looks pretty good. Maybe we'll have a uh, one second delay here, like the template. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have an appear event on the 3D shape. And in this one, we're going to set the initial scale to zero. And we'll have a delay of 1250 milliseconds. So we can see that. Now, when we want to see the whole thing together, we can hit our preview button up here. So here I think I want to wait a little longer before this plays. Let's let's do two seconds. So now we have our fully completed scene and it's uh, ready to go. Don't forget to subscribe to PX Mentor for more UI UX design tutorials, Figma tips and new tool breakdowns. Watch full tutorials on the channel youtube.com slash pxmentor. Until next time, happy designing.